I'd like to now look at the clip that I just recorded using In and Out in more detail. I'll double click it so that it is opened in the preview window. In doing so, we can see that the clip has already been trimmed, seemingly automatically by EDIUS. And so we can see what this means in detail now. We can see a lighter section in the middle of the clip, and what this is is the area selected via the in and out markers, even though the actual recording has a little bit extra on either side. I can jump to the start point using the function that appears as an arrow, just to the right of the set in point function. And this is go to in point, which can also be called up via the Q key. Worth remembering. Now the cursor jumps to the in point of the clip, and the timecode display shows 57.11. In other words, 57 seconds and 11 frames. If I move the cursor towards the beginning of the clip, we see that it actually starts at 55.11, exactly two seconds earlier. Now I'd like to look at the end of the clip. I can also jump directly to the out point using the same extended function as above, which can also be called up via the W key. And there we can see time code at 1 minute 18 seconds and 3 frames. Again, if I go to the end point, we can see that it is exactly 2 seconds after the out point at 1.20.03. So the region defined by the in and out points is the area defined with the in out function when recording. EDIUS has however added 2 seconds before and after the recorded section. This makes sense in many situations, as it is possible that the in and out points were not defined exactly as desired, and so having a little bit of material available at the beginning and end allows me to keep exactly what I need if I have too little material. This behaviour can of course be defined in the EDIUS settings, to be precise those settings under Settings, System Settings, Application Capture, and right at the beginning we see Margin and there we can see that 2 seconds is specified. If I wish to change this I can just enter a new amount or even set it to 0. I will change it to 1 second. Click here on the 2 and use the mouse wheel to change it to 1. And so I have set the margin when capturing with timecode to 1 second.